that the media asks you stupid questions and you don't have time for it. <laughs> I love him and Belichick. I don't know if it's stupid. It's yeah, stupid. you're right, Chuck. You know, all there, are. there is well, a there certain dumb standard questions. that Pop expects. There's a standard, well, but, but, it, but they right. ask you like, oh, he's right. It's a playoff. What do you think like, you're looking for? Gotta be ready right? to play. Game seven. Uh, I expected my guys to play. Uh, I expected them to play well. And how did De Demar was great tonight? Yeah, he played well. I mean, like, yeah, we just. Well, why did he play well? We'd like to know. He made. Sure he was aggressive. Number sure. one. Why was he aggressive? What, what was different in the offense or defense that made him aggressive? That's what we'd like to know. It well, I think, that's the, I, no. I think. The, I think. I think that's the one thing to separate good players, all-star, to great players. Right. You want to know why? Why they were so aggressive tonight? And he came in averaging 18 points. He and he averaged 24 during the regular season. You said to yourself, like. Why aren't guys aggressive all the time? Right. Is it something the defense doing or something? No, he no, no, it's not, no, no. That's what I was asking. I had to no. say no. defense. Well, maybe I should have go and ask Pop the question because no. that would have been the question I asked. Well, yeah. No, I, I said before the game. Answered that. Like yeah. That. Uh, yeah. See, no, 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 I said before the game. Shaq, if Shaq said before the game, and uh, he says like, y'all, because Ernie was pumping this dude up from, yes, from, from like, well, he's doing a great job on the Rosen. Well, it didn't work tonight exactly. because I think the Rosen was a lot more aggressive. And he and, made shots. Yes, and, but also. 12 out of 16 in yes. a matter But of you time. have to, un I, I never understand why guys aren't a gr good players like DeMar and, uh, and LaMarcus, why they're not aggressive all the time. Well, I mean, it's kind of hard to be aggressive on the road, especially if you get the early fouls, you get the early whistle. At home, you just, hey, close our game. You know, we got to go for it. And they went for it tonight. What happens in game seven, fellas? I'm going with San Antonio Spurs. I, I never I go against the system. Well, yeah, listen, hey, listen, I'm not going to No, the pressure is on Denver. Let me finish. The well, pressure is on Denver. Wait, how, there's no pressure on the Spurs? No, there's no pressure on the Spurs because you know what? They're on the road. They're, they're, they're no on pressure the road. playing on the road. Oh, see. No, they're, they're on the road. And Isn't the there Spurs pressure on not, both sides in the game seven? No, man, it's not. There's not pressure the on both teams. No, the Spurs are not expected. You're right, but the Spurs are not expected to win. They're not expected to be there. We, yeah, we were the we we going on a seven-game series. Yeah, we're going on a seven-game series. Well, the see. pressure's on Jokic to get another yeah. 43. Uh, well, he showed me something tonight, but he's going to have to do that well, at home. to show Well, let me tell you other guys got to step up. But first of all, I hate when people say, you got nothing to lose. Because, Chuck, you know what? Home court advantage. That's why it's called home court advantage. Yeah, but if they lose, their season's over. They got yeah. something right, to but lose. But we were the seventh seed. It doesn't matter, The expectation Kenny. level Wait, was Have different. you ever went into a series Dem thinking you the, couldn't win? No, I, I, never Denver, you know it, I never went to a series. You know Chuck. I never went to the series. The pressure's on Denver. It's Period. pressure on both teams. No, the San Antonio I agree with Spurs. Shaq. Okay. San Antonio Spurs are not expected. I to agree with Shaq. If you get Denver to has home court advantage. Right. If they lose, Denver exactly. would. Denver would. Well, actually, if you go back and look, uh, at the entire NBA playoffs, when the playoffs started, watching TV every day, Oklahoma City and the Spurs were the only two teams that people thought had a chance of upsetting. Right. So a lot of people thought the Spurs were going to win. Can, this I, can I ask you something? Yes, sir. You can, Kenneth. And, and can we go here? Can we go to hear Mike Malone? What a great summary of what we watched through four quarters of that game. Yeah. Mike Malone putting it all in a nutshell for you right there, and six for 24 from deep for the Nuggets, who came in shooting 41 percent from three. So. Uh, it is a 120 to 103 win for the Spurs. That's a question, and, and oh. we uh, thank you for uh, okay. uh, letting us go to Mike Malone. Now, pick up where you were. Uh, um, well, this there for is, all of us. Yeah. Well, this is the reason why I say, and, and you can answer it. Pressure is more on the Denver Nuggets in terms. Of if you're gonna, if you're gonna allow that to sink in, it's gonna be more on Denver Nuggets. When a seven seed loses to a two seed, game seven. There's no changes in your organization. A two lose to a seven. There might be wholesale changes or things might happen. If Robert Ory doesn't knock that shot in from three, the, the Los Angeles Lakers night might be the same. When you lost to us as a six seed, you were like, I might retire. Like, those things happen when the higher seed loses. When the lower seed loses, they're like, oh, you fought to the seventh. Well, well, you fought to seven. Well, well, good season. Right, Let's good add season. a piece. Keep going. Yep. Keep this momentum going in the right direction. When you lose good at point, the two Kenny. seed, right. hey, we might change well, Denver, a lot of things. But Denver. very few seven seeds have the pedigree that the San Antonio Spurs well, have. Well, it matter. does matter. First yeah. of all, you got to look at two things. Uh, number one, the Nuggets ain't going to make any changes. And this, people forget that you, the Spurs had to lead in this series. So you got to get a, the Nuggets credit for coming back, winning game four. But when you get to a game seven, there's no uh, – Denver's favorite because they're at home. Uh, but Shaq just said he, th he picking the Spurs. So, first of all, you got something to lose when your season's on the line. The last no, I'm not saying you don't have anything to lose. I'm just saying we, I think 
I don't know if you're saying the same thing. Yeah, pressure. There's just more Denver. pressure. Not yeah. you. Are, yeah, you, of course you want to win. Of course you think that you, you're going to win, but I just wouldn't feel the pressure of, like, damn, we got the seventh seed in a game seven. Oh, La my gosh. Last time there was a game seven in Denver, 1978. Wow. And so they'll do it again on Saturday night at Pepsi Center with a chance to move on and meet the Portland Trailblazers.